Helen Bareke was walking one night in Katanga slum, her Kampala neighborhood, when a young man approached her and started touching her. I didn't want boys touching me. I knew that if he did, the end result would be pregnancy and HIV. So when he groped me, I wanted to fight, but he beat me up. Baleke returned home with a bloody nose. She did not tell her mother about the attack or how she planned to deal with it. Baleke began sneaking out of the house early in the morning to train as a boxer. I waited when she returned. She told me, Mama, I have knocked out a girl. And I said, what? You have knocked out a girl? I told her, you will be beat, but never come here crying. The day they beat your eyes, it will be on you. I wasn't happy at all. Baleke said he was going to beat you. Baleke's mother warmed up to her daughter's boxing, though she kept training, competing and winning. In August at the African Games in Rabat, Morocco, she won a bronze medal, becoming Uganda's first medal-winning female boxer in 18 years. Baleke also trains other women, such as hairdresser Maureen Jumbo, to box for self-defense and to help young women stay off the streets. <laughs> I see so many girls. They are young, booze, they get pregnant. Some get the virus that causes AIDS. They can't take care of their children. They can't take care of their children. They can't take care of their children. Everything gets them high. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Kampala's Katanga slum is home to 20,000 urban poor who live in crowded conditions and where women are often victims of crime. Coach at Katanga's Rhino Boxing Club, Innocent Kapalata, says more and more young women in the slum are joining the club. We have a single good job training. We have a good 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 training. And open it in the ring. Wareke is empowering young women in Uganda's Katanga slum. Halima Athmani, VA News, Kampala.